It was a tough start to the season for the chair girls as their league opener ended in defeat as visitors Porchester put three past them in the first half of the game to secure the win. Manager Carl Simon reflected on the tough test for his side against experienced opponents. A bit of a tough one for us today. Obviously, we came, came in with a lot of high hopes, feeling quite good. You know, we prepared really well, had a good play season. Um, but um, yeah, just some um, defensive errors in the first 30 minutes just basically cost us the game and we got to get ourselves back into it. It was better in the second half, but again, this is something that we happened about two years ago. Situation that happened to us where chasing up after 30 minutes. Um, and we need to, we, we, you know, we rectified that last season. Um, we've gone back to that. So that's something we need to sort out. Cause in this division, if you go two, three goals down in the first, you know, half of the game, it's very, very difficult to come back into it. And if we had kept ourselves, um, in the game or gone in nil nil at half time, um, I think we would have fit a team. I think we would have got something out of it. But once they had that much of a lead to hold on to, you know, it's back to get to all stuff and they was able to do that quite well. Looking to move on from last week's loss, the chair girls now set their sights on Sunday's clash away at Chelsea. Well, you know, obviously we've got a lot of players who really weren't even available for today. So another good week's training. I think everyone will put their hand up and say, well, why can't I be in the squad? I think that's a fair one to say. Um, and like I said, we'll analyse the game. Everything. Take the, the emotion out of it at the moment, um, and then come back and, and see what we can do for Chelsea. The Chair Girls Development Squad also kicked off their league campaign last Sunday as they took the short journey over to Beaconsfield. The game resulted in a 2 0 loss for Wickham as lead coach Sonny Moore reflected on what he knew would be a big game for his side. It was great to eventually um, get the season underway. Um, obviously, against Beaconsfield Town, local derby. We played against them twice last season. Um, results didn't go our way. Um, so we knew it was going to be a big old game, which it was. Uh, and again, again, we came up against uh, a team who only have one team at the club, uh, a female team at the club, so they could put all their resources into ensuring that they're, they're doing the best they can. Um, it was obvious that they would recruited well. Um, there were a number of familiar faces, so we knew what we were up against, which was uh, pace uh, and elements of maturity, especially in their back line. The game itself, it was a very, very hot day. Um, it's, it's just um, happened to land on a, on a very hot Sunday. Um, so it's the energy levels, along with um, the excitement and nerves of first game of the season, um, was very much there and obvious. Uh, across both teams. We started very well uh, on the front foot, um, had, a, had a few chances, attacking chances, uh, but something uh, that we've noticed in pre-season, we do have a habit of leaking um, early goals. Um, so Beaconsfield scored in the 8th and the 15th minute. Um, reviewing the footage, um, it was obvious there were simple mistakes by us where if we really kind of notice where, where we go wrong in those instances, um, we'll, we'll make sure that we're, we're a little bit more solid at the back. And to be honest, we hit the post, uh, I think it was six times throughout the game. So again, um, we were unlucky on quite a few occasions, but we know we need to be a lot more clinical in front of goal. Uh, and we know, and this is a great positive, we know we're creating chances. So that's something we're definitely taking, taking forward. The devs are looking to use their test against Beaconsville to help prepare them for this weekend's home fixture against Kidlington Youth. We've reviewed and taken away um, the negatives and positives uh, of the game against Beaconsfield. Um, so we planned our, our two sessions this week uh, in preparation for that. Um, again, um, we're coming up against teams where we know they've been working hard in pre-season with recruitment. Um, the teams in our our league, we know that they're kind of stepping up and, and the levels are, are rising. So in preparation, all we can do is really work on those simple um, elements of our game and just keep on improving those. So it's the, the simple um, one touch, two touch passes, um, making sure we're moving the ball quickly and the ball's doing the work and we're not doing so much running around. The girls have been very honest and upfront and, and so have I when we've been reviewing uh, the game uh, against Beaconsfield, um, so we know individually and uh, as groups, um, defensively, midfield and forwards of where we need to improve and the stuff we need to work on. Um, but they're upbeat, I'm upbeat, um, very much looking forward to the game on Sunday, it's home, so our first home game. So yeah, we're going to be yeah definitely up for it. The chair girl devs will be home at Burnham on Sunday, while the under-18s head over to Cambridge this Saturday to kickstart their league run following the end of their pre-season.
Make sure to support your chair girls this weekend as they all take on their individual fixtures. Wake up!